Distance can't stop what it's meant to be. A very warm good morning to all. This is Kundavi Napinnai, Assistant Professor Sims, welcoming you all to the webinar at Shakti Institute of Information and Management Studies, Pollachi. Today's webinar is on the art of achieving teaching excellence in digital era. Classes in cloud, yes, online teaching becomes order of the day amid lockdown. So today, we have Dr. D. Vishagamurthy, founder and CEO, Insiders India, to talk about the most sorted topic at the right time. First, I would like to extend my warm welcome to our speaker, Dr. D. Vishagamurthy. He has two decades of teaching experience and six years of research experience. Also, he has two years stint in the industrial sector too. He holds a master's degree in business administration and psychology and a doctoral degree on stress management. He is a certified NLP trainer and has completed a course on advanced diploma in hypnosis. He is highly effective and sought after corporate trainer. He has been a consultant to many small and medium enterprises in the field of management, especially in the field of high performance work culture. He offers guidance for strategic HR and management development to various Indian corporate houses. He has conducted numerous seminars and workshops at many educational institutions. His training is mainly focused on success rules, self-confidence, achievement, motivation, and stress handling techniques. He is also a visiting faculty for many reputed institutions. Apart from business consultancy, he contributes his time and effort to develop and sustain community development initiatives and in social service organizations like Wellbeing Society, Coimbatore. Finally, I would like to convey my gratitude to the people without whom this event wouldn't be possible today. First, I would like to thank Dr. B.K. Krishnaraj Vanavarayar, President, SIMS, our Director, Dr. P. Subramanian, Academic Head and Coordinator, Dr. R. Tiahu, and all faculty members of SIMS at this occasion. I welcome you all once again. Thank you. Good morning, uh, Professor. It's my pleasure to meet all of you in this early morning. Good morning, teachers professors, administrators of various educational institutes. First of all, I appreciate Sakti Institute of Information Management Studies, Pollachi, for taking this uh, great initiative to arrange this program. I appreciate all the teachers to spare your quality time or one hour time with this uh, session. I think this is an initiative to convert quarantine time into quality time. So once again, hats off to you. I hope another one hour will be the learning platform for all of you. There would be some takeaway to all of you to implement when you go back to the college after this quarantine day and make yourself as a great teacher. Uh, the topic we have selected to discuss and contemplate with all these great faculties today is art of achieving excellence in uh, digital era. So whatever I am going to share with you might be a, an experience of mine for the last 20 years which I spent in teaching which I have accumulated and whatever I have observed from my teachers when I was studying in the school and college. Uh, so whatever I have gathered and whatever I have interacted with the fellow faculties when I was into teaching so I collected all those things. I am trying to consolidate everything for the discussion today. Right? I hope you all uh, learner teachers uh, with the rich experiences uh, in so many places and so many colleges uh, that may not be new for us, but uh, consolidating, again re-insisting all those things will help us to convert ourselves as a great teacher when you go back to the college. Uh, before getting into the topic, uh, my first slide will be the, uh, would be the brow to proud to be a teacher. Uh, this topic or this slide might be my signature slide. Wherever I go, whenever I want to discuss, 
any topic with any teaching community or teaching fraternity right proud to be a teacher because the topic we have selected is achieving excellence achieving excellence in teaching unless otherwise we are proud and completely convinced and happy and dedicated about the profession which we do then we cannot see the excellence even the teaching something it's different it's not like another profession right there are n number of ways and means is available to take up the life for bread and butter but we all decided to dedicate dedicate our life into the teaching so my real appreciation to all of you right why we all proud to be a teacher for the first reason right the why we all proud to be a teacher the first reason that it, it this is this is one among the few profession we are dealing with living materials so all these these people working in the software company other industry will say that uh, we are earning this much and that much so those people are fighting with the papers fighting with the machines but whereas we are only the field actually we are only the profession or among the profession actually we are dealing with the live and uh, living material point number 1 right then point number 2 uh, from the day one of the teaching to the last day of the teaching it is a fortunate for us to spend our time with an young mind always young mind is an unpolluted mind and the mind with the stable thoughts and good thoughts and creativity and innovation and all the maybe the clean aspects about about our life it is a vibrant mind see what what is an advantage of spending the time with an young mind when you spend a time with an elderly people always or when you start spending your time always with an elderly people or people with the enormous wisdom after some times you will become a person of wisdom when you start spending your time along with the children actually you will become childish when you start spending with the when spending your time with the people with a sick attitude you will become sick after some time right but here it is fortunate for a uh, fortunate for all of us we are spending our time with all the young and vibrant mind so definitely those vibrations will influence psychologically spiritually and morally then we also will become maybe that young that physically as well as mental because an art of succeeding their life art of success succeeding the life is keeping our mind young and keeping our system young right so when you when you spend your time with the young people you also will become young right? the number 3 nation building right it's we love ourselves we all love ourselves we are much more important for ourselves than anybody then apart from ourselves we started loving our family that our family is much more important for all of us apart from everybody it is the foremost responsibility of all the people to give back something to this nation that is called nation building so here it is an opportunity for very faculties either either 40 or 40 students or 50 students or 100 students it has happened for us to meet and deliver our lessons and with a captive audience for your information for an honor this is an opportunity to instill or maybe that uh, sow the good seed among the minds of the people to convert every student as a good citizen of the country such a way that you are making everybody to contribute lot of values and converting this country as a great country that is called nation building the first point i told you that it's happened for us to deal with always a living material point number 2 that it's happened for us to deal with an young people always so it is a great opportunity for us to contribute something uh, for the nation building the next point the people will say that we pay uh, this ugc pay or act pay or so many things but what i personally feel we cannot pay for a teacher then worth of the teacher you cannot evaluate the worth of the teacher at present because we teach 100 students or 150 students or maybe that 60 70 students every year then those students will grow up as a good citizen they will occupy the various positions and they take so many things from us all the moral values and goods and knowledge and wisdoms they are going to contribute everything to this nation and making this nation as a great nation value of our student to contribute for nation building something enormous so you cannot evaluate at present something it's a noble profession that is a fourth point then the last point actually for this slide there is an unforgettable teacher for everybody right all the people then so far around uh, maybe the 300 people have logged into that so all the people just recall about your school life and college life we are all into different positions there might be some unforgettable teacher either in a school or college they kindle you they help you to unleash your potential and ability and maybe that help you to get a lot of confidence 
and set your goals and travel towards these various destination and goal posts and become the great personality, right? So there is an unforgettable teacher for everybody, right? So I request then we all should be an unforgettable teacher for many people and convert every students, every ordinary people into the great citizen of this country, right? So keeping all these concepts in the mind, so we are all maybe that proud to be a teacher. Uh, this is uh, something maybe that uncom incomparable with any other professions. At any point of the time, we should not degrade or underestimate what we do. Always other side of the fence is greenish. So let us be happy and uh, I salute to all the teachers that's all proud about to be a teacher, right? So we should go to the maybe the college, we should go to the classroom in every day with a proud that I'm a teacher, then maybe that excellence will automatically come. So coming back to the point, <clears throat> getting into the topic, uh, before maybe that the strategies needed to convert or become an excellent teacher, we should make an attempt to understand the reality, the current occasions. The facts of traditional teaching and facts in the digital era. That, so we can divide like digital teaching and maybe the, and traditional teaching. And traditional teaching and digital teaching, what might be the difference? What is the reality? What is the maybe that fact now? Right? Number one, the traditional teaching, teacher was the only the source for all of us to get a knowledge. That too with the limited access. So whenever you want to get clarity on that, whenever you want to get any information or any concepts or anything, if you have any doubt relating to any concepts also, or when you want to deliberate about anything, teacher wasn't only the source. Even during the classroom, all these discussions are revolving around the teachers. Complete conversation and flow of the sentences, discussions, everything, maybe that towards the teacher, teacher was a central point. So we have to learn maybe the things from the teacher. Teacher was a trainer. The teacher used to train everybody. Right? But whereas in a digital era, Google is a source. That too an advantage is of, in the traditional teaching, accessing with the teacher is very limited, right? So you cannot maybe they step into the teacher always 24 into 7, you cannot get into them and get access with the teacher, right? Whereas here, it is a possibility to get clarified with our doubt in 24 into 7 into 365, right? The first point that was at only the teacher centric, only the teacher was a knowledge source. Now Google the 24 into 7 into 365. That is point number one, right? Then point number two, now uh, even the traditional actually, it was an instructor based, the teacher based, teacher has to train. But whereas here in the digital platform, everything is self-learning method, right? Almost maybe that we are moved into self-learning method. For example, couple of months ago, right? So we were all maybe the teachers associated with various colleges. We are uh, we are comfortable with only the chalk and talk method, right? Maybe the here and there we are using all these uh, maybe the uh, PowerPoint or something else. But still, then we are not familiar with the Zoom. We are not familiar with the Facebook Live, or maybe that we are not familiar with the maybe the Google Meet, whatever it may be. It was available that there are so many apps are available for this meeting. But how do we learn all those things? There are n number of tutorials are available in the Google, right? So for example, when you want to conduct a meeting, just maybe the Google it. So how to use the maybe the Zoom app. Immediately you will get all the details, how, what is maybe the Zoom app, how to download the Zoom app, how to schedule the meeting, how to conduct the meeting, how to invite the people for the meeting. Everything is completely available in the net. So we can learn everything. There is a possibility for the student to learn things by themselves. That is maybe the second reality. Third point, in the traditional teaching, student cannot validate that information which is had by the teacher inside the classroom. If the teacher is making an attempt to deliver some concepts, right, with reference to any subject, the student has to accept, he should accept whatever may be that he said and maybe that he has to reproduce. But in the digital era, the students are having the opportunity to validate that information set by the faculty in every minute. For example, three months ago, I was invited to deliver the talk for the Anna University, right? When I was delivering this maybe the class about the production management, a particular students are getting into the Google. And he said, like, sir, I have a doubt. Yeah, please tell me. Sir, there is a small difference between the definition you are explained for this concept and which I have referred here, the information which is available. I, I asked, how do you know? Sir, maybe that I have Google it. Right? So, here it is a responsibility of the teacher. You should be careful 
enough to validate all the information so you should be 100% sure about the reality and authenticity of the data and go back to the class and deliver it when the student knew that you are coming to the class in an off handed or maybe the information provided by you is not updated it is not correct it is not relevant an example is not relevant so definitely maybe that they will underestimate you once they started underestimate you they will not listen to you as well as they will spreading about this negative among the minds of the fellow student about you when it happens actually other people also will develop the cynicism towards you when there is a cynicism towards you then they will not listen to you right this is the third challenge right the fourth point in the traditional traditional teaching the deviation was very less the technological development was not like this but now in the digital teaching actually the deviation is enormous for example when we take as an example whatsapp itself is a great deviation it, it is a it is a time consuming killer in an own point of view at least we have 10 to 15 groups everybody there is a family group there is a social group there is a group for the friends group for the ug and pg the official groups there are so many groups at least we receive 1000 to 10000 information every day sometimes you supposed to respond for that that we, we spend more of the time or even the students are also spending more time in the whatsapp then again they are present in the facebook then their presence in the instagram their presence in the linkedin even there are so many things actually right so all these things are maybe that naturally deviating the student from the right track it is a challenging for the faculty to pull the attention in spite of all the deviations this is maybe that another reality right the next fifth point students were convinced and comfortable with the traditional teaching method which we have adopted during the either early 2000 or 90s or 80s they have not expected any uh, sophisticated teaching aids from the teacher right only the teacher centric can chalk and board whatever you are trying to explain the students were adopted maybe accepted as it is but now that awareness level about the uses usage of the technological aids which reference to the teaching is maybe that in the roof then students also aware all those things they are expecting that the teacher should be a technology savvy right even we all aware that adopting the technology in that in the in the area of adopting the technology so present students are much 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 higher than the faculties unless otherwise you are familiar with all the technological tools which is available for the teaching the student may be that will not lend to you lend their ass to you or maybe that they will not listen to you because digital is their language so you you are expected to speak in their language for example maybe that you are sitting in tamil nadu that you are going for the uh, china or maybe the japan or somewhere else so when you want to converse something with the japanese people you have to maybe the talk only in their language or maybe that when you want to talk something in the south korea so you have to talk maybe the team their language or maybe the french uh, people that you have to talk in french actually otherwise they cannot understand so like that so in the present generation so when you want to talk with the people when you want to engage with the students present generation students so you should be well versed in a digital when you talk in the digital language when you are the teachers are really digital savvy then maybe that you can be a successful teacher you are a teacher of maybe the favorite teacher of the student otherwise maybe the student will say that you are maybe this teacher is outdated personality right the next point <clears throat> the traditional teaching students were fond of books even when we were during the colleges also that only books and library was the source of knowledge where is at present even there are so many colleges they claim that we have a good number of books that thousand and lakhs and lakhs of the good we, we have all the latest books but we are very sorry to see that hardly only very 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 few students are getting or entering into the library to refer the concepts from the books they refer only from the google that too maybe even when you uh, when you observe the students Uh, before the examination or in front of that examination hall so we can identify that they will scroll the mobile and they try to get an information from the ppt so ppt is a surface learning this is not giving the depth information about the concept or the domain which they are trying to learn right even for example uh, even during the introduction videos they explain uh, i was in the teaching for nearly 20 years then finally that i just now i am into consulting that i traveled across many companies for uh, corporate training and consulting right then there are few companies they used to invite me for conducting an interview right i am sorry to maybe that see and note that there are so many students are coming from these colleges 
they are very 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 lacking in the basics they are not in the position to explain about what is the basics right so here the problem is actually uh, the problem actually they are not maybe the deeply rooted into the depth of the concept that is a problem right so these are all maybe that, that is a uh, this is happened because of the reading maybe the reading and learning through ppt right so when you encourage the student to learn through books so this will help them to get identify the uh, identify the depth of the concept right so this is something relating to the technical facts then coming to the moral facts and maybe that uh, psychological facts and social facts again we can divide the teaching into traditional teaching or modern teaching or digital era then the traditional teaching this completely it was teacher centric the modern teaching it was completely student centric i repeat once again that was teacher centric it is modern centric that is teacher centric now it is student centric what is maybe the teacher centric and student centric in traditional actually we can we, we we can explain through a particular proverb traditional teaching was spare the rod and spoil the child i repeat once again the traditional teaching was spare the rod and spoil the child but now in the digital era spare the rod and save the child spare the rod and save the child so what is the difference actually in the traditional teaching faculties were equipped faculties were given the freedom to punish the students you can extend the punishment you can give the punishment when they are not ready to complete their homework or maybe that when they are disobedient or something else even parents were also encouraged parents were happy at present actually in the digital era after this concept of maybe the single child in an every family in every family there is a son or daughter they consider them as the queen or king their ego level is gone up like anything so with that particular ego level all the people are coming back to the connection so their self esteem or otherwise we can call it self esteem level is enormous it's very high so they are they are expecting us to treat them in a most dignified way that was maybe that the, that they are they were treated in the maybe the home again it is a challenging for all of us so here what we can do actually instead of blaming this maybe that this community or reality let's accept the reality so let's have a small adjustment what is that adjustment actually in the earlier traditional teaching we are typically a teacher now we are instead of playing as a teacher actually what we can do we can play as a coach how, how what is the what is the difference between coach and teacher actually the coach will will play along with the player and maybe the he will act as a friend then coach is helping the helping the players to rectify the mistake correct the mistake then he is little bit friendly with them right and maybe that helping them to accumulate all these skills and knowledges so this is what maybe the traditional teaching and maybe that modern teaching technically as well as maybe that morally right when you understand and transform ourselves we can become the great teacher and teacher of excellence right so this is called the reality so now we are coming back to the point so even though we are into the digital teaching now either we are all connected with the zoom or maybe that facebook or whatever it may be uh, definitely 100% this may not be an effective tool right uh, so we all uh, maybe this may this quarantine or lockdown may gets over within a couple of months we all go back to the college again we'll start our routine work or regular work uh, maybe this type of teaching will help us for a 30% or 50% and another 50% the face to face the uh, teaching definitely this mandatory to transform all these students may be that into the great student right because that that uh, physical influence that psychic influence of the faculties and student is mandatory for that right so coming back so what qualities is needed right when we go back to the college so after this lockdown the first of all the teacher should be energetic the teacher should be like the army man he should enjoy the health and maybe that energy and mind power he should be like the army officer right then when the teacher is so energetic when the faculty or professor is so energetic actually then everybody become energetic even spiritually the people having the spiritual understanding or psychological understanding you know that there is a psychic psychic influence what is the concept of psychic influence when you interact with somebody with a positive spirit with so much of energy and happiness and other people also will become happy when you start your interacting with another people with less energy with pessimism a negative feeling 
unfrustrated approach so though those people also will become frustrated right so what what is the important point we should go to the class with so much of energy on positive approach from monday morning first hour to last hour of friday or last hour of saturday we should maintain the consistency of energy so little amount of exercise or little amount of yoga or little amount of breathing exercise to make our mind and body as a strong one that is more essential right always we should be fit mentally as well as physically right this your appearance the way you talk the way you speak the way you walk the way you carry yourself must influence every student to fall behind you right the first important secret to enjoy that excellence is energy level right the second point when you wake up from the bed in an every morning or monday morning you should get up with the positive feel that it is a net another opportunity for me to deliver a talk and transform the another student or group of student with that thought even for example during this quarantine day we are all maybe that uh, we are all eagerly waiting that when everything gets over which i want to go back and maybe that we want to work right so this is what so work is beautiful work is worth it work is happiness so teaching also may be that we are we are we are blessed with the other teacher right so that every day you have to start with the day here afterwards i am blessed the god has given an another day it's another opportunity to go and meet and another maybe that 50 to 100 truth and to enlighten transform right so this thought is again maybe that very important next to maybe the next point it's a self question to all of you how many of you really enjoy teaching how many of you i repeat once again how many of you really you enjoy teaching right for example we go for a music concert some artists are playing some music right they play the music with all the happiness they put their heart and invest their heart and soul into that and maybe that make the tunes and music so that is what we enjoy in god so the teacher also when we go to the class with the, maybe that 100 percentage commitment what is that 100 percentage commitment we should invest our heart and soul and completely into that particular one hour when you try to explain that concept so definitely maybe that all the students will fall behind you right with so much of excitement and maybe that we should enjoy this should we should be happy enough to maybe that go back to the college right the classroom right next point no complaint counters please note down this point no complaint counters what is this just rewind your mind and go back to the maybe the days maybe that last one year or three years or last five years and just recall about the conversation which you had with your contemporaries or fellow teachers about the present community or present education system or administrator right what is that conversation 90 percent is a complaint counters what is the complaint down there this is quite common everybody we say that when i was a student when we were the student we were totally different and we are totally committed uh, even that last batch is far far better than these people these people are so lazy they are not regular to the class they are not sincere they are not ready to listen when when i maybe that they are trying to deliver the uh, lesson even they are not maybe the uh, obedient they are not uh, listen to the teacher so these are all the maybe that quite common or some of the common complaint we used to share with all those people right so whenever see one thing we have to understand that we are operating into two brain one is a subconscious brain and maybe the conscious conscious brain then whenever you are talking to somebody you are maybe the talking with the conscious mind conscious mind is connected with the subconscious mind subconscious mind will observe whatever you say and whatever you talk subconscious mind will believe it so when you keep on talking and maybe that to keep on maybe that explaining or perceiving and conversing with fellow faculties about the students and maybe the teaching paternity and system negatively then subconscious mind believe and execute that the teaching is bore so what you have to do just forget about all the complaint you find out there are some good things are there in the teaching right so just think about a rose plant so thorn also there roses also there don't see about the thorn just look about the maybe the petals so look about the roses like that every field actually there are some ups there are some downs are available just maybe that don't look about the black spot just look about the good spot maybe the good things and positive things which is available in the teaching and focus on that you will be a great teacher then one more thing actually 
this 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 complain counter actually then when when you started complaining on other, other maybe the complaining about the teaching with another others the body also unknowingly expresses about the negative vibrations so this negative vibrations will disturb your mood but when you are keep on maybe they're talking about this teaching and student community negatively or positively actually so this system also started maybe the expressing about the positive vibrations so this positive vibrations will influence maybe the ourselves as well as the people around us even the students and maybe that it will help us to convert this entire team as a great team right then uh, there is one maybe that quite common complaints from all the people at present nowadays the paper work is improved the teaching is different when i was enter into the teaching it was totally different now it is maybe the different this is right when you feel that there is no changes between or changes changes in the teaching in 20 years ago or present actually that means something is wrong when there is a lot of development when there is a lot of works to do that means you are happy enough that so you should maybe that uh, you should accept what is the reality for example uh, 10 years ago we never thought about all this maybe the uh, digital platform or maybe that uh, uh, online teaching but now we are accepted and adopted just maybe that what are all just uh, you are all maybe the seated into various places in your home and observing my class just maybe that or look around the things which is in, in your home how many changes it has happened so we all accepted everything for example even if you want to buy the dress also we are expecting that there should be a new design for me so when you want to buy the mobile phone i need some latest mobile when you want to buy the tv for maybe that your house we want to buy the latest tv that i don't want the old tv when why do we say that why do you, you are expecting that the students should be same in at present maybe that in 30 years ago or 20 years ago just welcome the change accept the change accept the reality and tune ourself according to according to the maybe that uh, present existence then you can make yourself as the better teacher right the next point attention pulling next point please note down this is very very valid point this will help you when you go back to college attention pulling right see all this uh, viewers if you have the pen and paper if you have pen and paper please write down please write down five best teacher you have come across i will give you two minutes of the time dear viewers please take a piece of paper and write down five best teacher which you feel and you have come across your life one Two, three, four, five. I think you all have written down all the five teachers, right? Now, just go back to the first teacher, right? Number one, hyphen. while thinking about that first teacher actually that first great teacher in your list what color you can connect right for a first teacher hyphen when you are thinking about that particular teacher right the what color you can connect hyphen you can write down for the first teacher second teacher third teacher and maybe the up to the last teacher right? all five teachers the first task you supposed to list out the five best teacher which you have come across your life then after that for every teacher when you are thinking about every teacher what color it comes or maybe that hit your mind while thinking about that particular teacher just please write down i uh, hope you all have finished yeah good yeah I, yeah good i have seen in the response column fine so this is called ice breaking activity yeah excellent this is called ice breaking activity see what we do normally we take an attendance register and maybe the either ppt or maybe the class material we enter into the class once you finished your attendance directly we are stepping into the class and we started delivering the concept this is not at all maybe the right approach right instead what you can do after completing the attendance actually conduct some ice breaking activities like this for a 5 minutes either ice breaking activities you can do or else maybe the uh, you can conduct a quiz a right? general knowledge quiz or maybe that some maybe that quiz relating to the uh, maybe uh, politics or economics uh, or even sports 
some general quiz as a general activity you should do that once you do suppose in case let's assume that there is a 50 students inside the class then the, all the students are falling like when you directly start the session directly start the session when you directly started delivering the concept the student may not get inter interested into that they will not fall behind you they will not travel along with you right some general activity you should try to pull the attention by the way of conducting an activity every hour even the last day or maybe that the day a session before the, uh, the before the examination actually then you should do this approach when you do this actually actually the student will get relaxed and maybe they started getting involved into that while getting that inspiration or momentum then slowly you have to introduce the concept then they will travel with you for an one hour right? this is one secret of maybe that that engaging the student into the subject next point so please note down this point i think this may be helpful to you don't teach the subject sell yourself first i repeat once again don't teach this subject first sell yourself first don't teach the subject sell yourself first see um, sometimes while interacting with the students if you ask a question what is your favorite subject the people will say this and that aerodynamics or whatever it may be right why do they like the particular subject because they like the particular staff they like the particular faculty particular professor when you are completely convinced about the personality of the particular person he is teaching the particular subject we are ready to accept any concept which is taught by the faculty so selling ourselves is a first selling ourselves is a first in the sense actually you should behave in such a way inside the classroom should be very very modest you should be very very professional you should be very very maybe that a person person of decency you, you should be a person of ultimate obedience you may be a person of ultimate knowledge ultimate wisdom you should be a complete role model and thoroughly informed about a concept for a one hour right it's like a completely maybe the packed hour for an one hour when 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 the students are started developing the reverence i don't say respect reverence is one step ahead right when they started developing the reverence to you definitely they will accept whatever you say right so selling ourselves or maybe that selling ourselves in the minds of the students is maybe that an important aspect for this actually what you can follow uh, just avoid all the negative things sometimes maybe the students might be mischievous they will they will they will be playful right the, all those things let us learn to accept in the beginning right here one thing we have to understand when all our students are very modest very knowledgeable very informed very obedient and an excellent behavior they are highly maybe that commandable in that industry they need not come to the college i repeat once again when they knew everything when they are where their behavior pattern is completely perfect perfect then they are a role model for all the rest of the community they need not come to us they are here to learn so for example somebody may be that suppose suppose we want to maybe that become a cricket player we want to become the cricketer so we first thing we are we are getting into the some of the uh, coach coaching school so we are trying to get a get a, getting trying to get trained why do we go there we doesn't know how to play a cricket how to play a tennis so since because of this maybe that inefficiency that coach is trying to coach us so like that student also they are lacking in so many things maybe that is a type of innocence even i have plenty number of experiences students have irritated me they throw on the paper so many things happened actually even after some time they are all realizing and sending back that information to all of us definitely their life will teach a lesson for everybody right so here what we can do in the sense we should that even the teacher is a different material we are not like another profession we should have an enormous patience and we should be very 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 careful enough to teach maybe the consider all the students our my students like an our maybe the children in our home right just think about our mother or father and brother and sister our son and daughter whether all people are perfect 100 percentage in the sense no that everybody they are having their own ups and downs but since maybe that because of all this accept maybe the ups and downs we accept the people as it is and treating them with all the courtesy and politeness so with the when you adopt the same approach so definitely that every student will respect you like anything they will follow whatever the concept you say in your class next point encourage your student to disagree the concept 
even some people might disagree this concept i am happy i repeat once again encourage your student to disagree the concept which you discuss in the class even whenever i go to the class i used to start my class with the uh, mind breaking activity or ice breaking activity 10 minutes i 5 to 10 minutes i'll conduct an ice breaking then my class will be completely a democratic class i'll encourage all the student to ask any doubt i think 3 years ago i was trying to explain about the darwin theory uh, you know darwin theory talks about the human evolution i was explaining in the class that uh, the humans are emanated from the uh, monkeys in a student one mr manoj actually from chennai he said like sir i disagree the concept oh i am so happy right just tell me right this is what i am expecting for a quite long time can you tell me why do you disagree right sir for the two reasons i disagree the darwin theory the number one you say human beings are emanated from the monkey the first point if the human beings are coming from monkey why not modern monkeys are not converting into human being this is his first question then he said another question actually sir if it takes too long maybe that if it is an evolution actually when it is takes so much of time actually so we have the civilization of more than 1000 years so human being remains a human being actually when monkeys are converted as a human being the human must be converted as a superhuman being that is not happened sir so darwin is wrong i am so happy so like this there are so many maybe that examples and experiences happened maybe that in my life like this so what we can do inside the class actually you should make the student and uh, motivate the student to disagree the concept which you teach whereas big one thing we have to understand our students are a cap captive audience when you don't encourage actually it is like a monologue you are trying to deliver something and come back then our mind also will not be active when 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 you enter into the when, when you enter into the class with maybe that with the shrewdness you can get any number of questions your conscious and subconscious mind will be very active to face any number of maybe that questions you also may be that become a brilliant teacher then maybe that your knowledge level your intelligence level your presence of mind will go up along with the students when you start the kindling the maybe that minds of the students so definitely maybe they they will fond of the subject they will enter into the subject they will travel into the sub subject and that finally after some time they will become an expert into the subject so that is what maybe that we want to convert every students the next point communicate the topic at least one day in advance suppose in case uh, today we want to talk about uh, uh, nanotechnology right just announce to the student or communicate the student in their whatsapp group so this is a topic which i am going to deliver tomorrow here you are allowing the student to refer what is nanotechnology they will collect all the facts and figures come back to college there here in this method you should act like a mentor again maybe that you should act like a coach you should encourage all the 50 students whatever they collected whatever the information they collected about a nanotechnology you should make them to deliberate and explain you should encourage that agreement and disagreement you should help them to discuss among themselves here you should not teach actually when there is any conceptual disagreement arises about the concept among the minds of the student inside the classroom so you have to penetrate into that and settle down the concept with the help of your expertise in the non into the nanotechnology so this transformation which is needed right so in this method actually we are we are we are pulling the sense of participation from an every student even the last maybe that last student to the first student they used to encourage them to tell one or two two points right every day just encourage them just announce the topic in advance let them collect whatever that information here some faculties may feel that sometimes there is a risk what is the risk they might ask some question we may not aware about it here we have to understand that nobody is well informed about every, everything right according to the vedatri maharishi actually what he is telling only 12 percentage in the universe is visible out of this 12 percentage we studied either one or two subjects that is maybe that only the very very tip and tip and tip of the iceberg out of the 100 percentage is universe whatever it is new is 0.000000 is one so we knew only little 
so when you doesn't know about the reality or real answer about the concept which you discuss in the classroom just you can plainly openly tell the student i am not aware that i am not clear i am not very sure about it i will discuss find out and come back from the next day you have to maybe that go into net or maybe that any experts or your contemporaries find out get clarity reality just go back and explain the concept which is maybe that not answered by you or which is not settled yesterday so here this approach will help the student to respect you like anything right so this is another valuable point next point encourage your student to apply the concept and come back to the class uh, even when there is, when when the top 100 universities or top 100 best colleges are listed in the universe Uh, it it's pathetic that we could not find our uh, institute the reason actually the, our 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 education system sometimes it is not application oriented right so whatever the subject we teach today you should encourage the student to apply tomorrow and come back to the class even this time table also in such a way that you should not have the classes in all the five days we should have the class for our subject only in alternative days when there is a first class on monday next class would be wednesday the next class would be friday when you teach a particular concept on monday you should create a room for the student to apply the concept on tuesday and come back to the class on wednesday you will discuss about an application and introduce another concept on wednesday you should apply that concept in the subsequent day maybe the thursday and come back to the college on the friday right then maybe the student will will they never forget they will not prepare for the examinations see for example sometimes maybe the there must be question in the faculty those who are listening to my talk i think maybe that the concept in my subject is not possible to apply see for example as a computer science teacher he is trying to explain about how to develop the mobile app on monday just give an assignment let them develop a mobile app and come back or maybe that you stay or maybe that you are you are explaining about a web designing just give it time for them let them develop the website for maybe that a particular teacher along with an activity which you do let them come back to the class and next time then only this education become meaningful but here when you feel that the concept which i am teaching is not possible to apply practically in the next day or next week that means the concept which you teach is not relevant right i i am insisting once again when you feel that the concept which you teach is not by which you teach or which, which you taught in the classroom it is not possible to apply somewhere else and come back so that 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 is not maybe the relevant that is not serving the practical purpose so here it is a high time to revamp the maybe the subject or concept or content so this is another important point unless otherwise you apply the concept the concept will not travel in the minds of the student and they cannot become the maybe that excellent person or may well versed into the subject the next point an important point please please don't segregate the student as a good student and poor student there may be a good student good at communication might be their parenting they are maybe that an education system they may be, they might be hailing from the convent they may speak well good communication good general knowledge probably a particular portion of the student some of the students are from the first generation student right so those students actually we should not claim as a poor students actually, poor students we should consider them as a students of learning difficulties i repeat once again don't call any students as the maybe the poor student please consider them as a student with learning difficulties so here i'll tell an example just think about a doctor or think think about a psychiatrist a doctor it is happened to attend 30 to 30 30 patient or 50 stay patient he will not have the same medicine and prescription for all the 30 patients which he is maybe that going to attend in a day if he gives same medicine and pills for all the medicine that is dangerous but the teachers what we do in most of the time we have some standard techniques and strategies we try to apply for all the students and we are expecting that we that that strategy should give a result for us something it is a type of innocence we also like a teacher every student is a different student how maybe that the, the psychiatrist or teacher is considering doctor is considering every patient is a different maybe the patient every maybe the patient is a different uh, patient and maybe the examining the requirement so based on that he is prescribing the medicine like that so the teacher also we should spend little bit time with all the students in the class and try to understand the student whatever it is needed for them you have to maybe that send back you have to deliver it for example let us take a small kirana shop which is situated in our street a person sitting over there he is not giving us the same grocery for all the people 
what he is trying actually whenever we are stepping into the grocery shop so that may be that you know that particular kirana shop and he said so what do you want so based on the expectation and requirement he will keep used to consolidate all the grocery items and present it to the customers then we are happy and come back so we should have the same amount of approach when you go back to the class we should make a genuine attempt to an interesting attempt and decent attempt to identify sincere attempt to identify and understand so what is the requirement of what is the type of student what is the requirement of each and every student when you start that delivering that so definitely you will be a real hero for that particular person until the last minute when you tr start transforming the good student that may not be a real achievement when you transform the real student maybe the student uh, really having the learning difficulties and make them as a great student and good student actually so that is and maybe that be a great contribution this country right the next point <clears throat> i feel sorry this point actually don't judge the student by its cover i repeat once again don't judge the student by its cover what mistake we do we conduct we used to conduct the national level seminar or workshop we need few students in the reception what we do we identify only good looking person right good looking female or maybe that male and we instruct them in advance to dress up well and come and to stand in front of the auditorium otherwise uh, we want to arrange the photography session for the placement brochure or some of the maybe the brochure which we release from the college again what we do we are identifying picking from the only the good looking maybe that person and making them to maybe the dress up well like this and come back and click the photos and again maybe that we will display those photos in the website and maybe the uh, either in the placement brochure or other maybe the brochure but sorry to say i feel it is a brutal actually right we should not do every people are good people every person are beautiful people every people are good looking people for, for example just think about the maybe any animal elephant which 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 animal is a good animal which which elephant is a good elephant every elephant is a beautiful elephant when you think about a peacock actually which elephant is a maybe which peacock is a good peacock every peacock is a beautiful peacock when when you think about the stray dogs or maybe the cat or whatever the pet animals we have so every animal is a beautiful animal but we only we, even with the help of the six to seven descents we are blessed soul we are segregating the people based on the appearance again this will create the inferiority complex among the minds of the many students inside the class that will stay in their subconscious mind it 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 create a thought that i am not good looking i am not a pleasing personality the faculty are not considering me right this will this will disturb them this will like a maybe that it's it's like a wound that is that that is there in their heart and mind i stayed for a long time the pulling down to maybe that fly in the flying colors right so here after that please please consider every students are beautiful students every students are good students consider and give the equal opportunity for everything right don't maybe the segregate the students based on the appearance right this is one important but when you do this when you does this in the next time when you go to the class maybe the top this lockdown please talk to maybe the poor students first the students with ability first then the some students are very uh, how can i say they are very 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 uh, not uh, not uh, aggressive right uh, with an inferiority complex they will stay somewhere else they will say quite just call those people just give an assignment for those people and appreciate people those people will come up well right next point there is a common maybe the problem for a challenge for everybody dealing with the naughty students there is a naughty student or there will be a naughty student there might be a naughty students for everybody inside the class uh, this naughtiness also type of innocence that is what i understood what they will do those naughty students are attention pulling character this is in the history actually these people will be called as a attention pulling right what they will do they will have the longest hair ring and come they will try to grow a long hair and come right they will maybe that uh, different type of color shirt and making some of the noise in between that so like that some of the naughty students the naughty students will have the better energy also they always maybe they try to have the conversation to attract the attention of all the people right here i'll tell you an example probably we can understand uh, dr radha krishnan we are all accepted him as a best teacher we started celebrating his birthday as the uh, teachers day 
Uh, even I heard actually that I referred from the book, whenever he started delivering the lecture in a particular class, he used to start with the number of students like 40 and 30 or maybe the 50. When the class gets over, the classroom is filled with maybe that 100 or 150. Whenever the students or other students are heard about that Dr. Radha Krishna sir is handling the class, that everybody is rushing towards that particular class and listen and sometimes stand, sometimes maybe they're looking through the windows and they were listening to the Dr. Radha Krishna's class. What happened actually? What is the speciality there? He is such a maybe that intelligent teacher, able teacher, able to explain everything. Then there was an incident actually, there was an RT student in his class also. In a particular point of the time, he was trying to explain about the diamonds. Then almost he explained one hour. From the last bench, a, a student he was slowly rising like a butterfly from the cocoon and interfered the Radha Krishnan, sir, sir, I have a doubt, can you clarify? With all the sympathy and empathy, Dr. Radha Krishnan replied that gentleman, what's your doubt? Then he asked a question like this, sir, so far you are explained about the types of diamonds, how to polish the diamonds, how to, what is the value of the diamond and what is the uses of the diamond? Sir, but you did not explain about how to produce the diamond or how to manufacture the diamond. Very next second, not even thinking a single second actually, Dr. Radha Krishna sir replied that, my dear gentleman, take a piece of charcoal, bury it 300 meters, wait for 3000 years, you will get a charcoal. Sir, you will get a diamond. I repeat again, once again, take a piece of charcoal, bury it 300 meters, wait for 3000 years, you will get a diamond. Right? Here, the important point or notable point is, this is a way to make a diamond. Even that, the, the, this is what actually, that every teacher actually, we should have the ability to clarify the doubt of the student, even in the marketplace, even in the midnight, without referring a single piece of paper, if you are able to explain the concept which you are going to teach, so that is that, that teacher is a great teacher. You should have that ability to clarify the doubt of any students. So again, maybe that, that will help you to attract the reverence of all the students and you will be a great teacher, right? And another important point, standard deviation, right? <clears throat> what is standard deviation here? Uh, we go and deliver the particular subject and we expect uh, every student should get uh, above 70 or above 60. Right? Here, we should understand that we are delivering the talk of, talk with or delivering the concept with 60 or 50 heterogeneous student, right, 50 to 60 heterogeneous students, they are not homogeneous, right, then what is the concept of standard deviation is applicable, I tell an example, Arjuna, he is number one in archery, he learned everything from Dronachari. Right, Dronacharya, he taught everything to Arjuna that he made Arjuna as a number one in archery. Right? But Aswatthama, he is a son of Dronachari. Then few times Dronachari, uh, he has taken a steps, steps to teach archery to that Aswatthama, then Arthasama not interested to learn. This is called standard deviation. Coming back to the class now, when you go back, the, all the 50 or 60 students are 50 different materials, 60 different materials then they will have the 50 to 60 different interests. You should identify when the, some people are not interested into the teaching, just identify, just call them, talk to them, identify what is maybe the, their inner potential, what is their interest on core competency and encourage them to travel into that, he will become a great personality. Even I also had an example, I think five years ago, there was a student called Sri Gans. I was teaching the human resource management and psychology for them. Right? Then I found that in the first one week, he's not at all interested in it. Then I called him one day in the evening. Right? Then I asked him, the gentleman, you're not at all interested in that. Is there any problem or anything with you? Right? Then he replied that, sir, I'm not at all interested in studies. My father forced me to take up this MBA. Uh, my interest my interest is to become the cricketer. Right? Then I suggested, uh, sorry that I doesn't know that you are interested in cricket. So here afterwards, let us develop the agreement of gentleman agreement. I will not disturb you and you should not disturb me. Even I will give an on duty. During my class, you can go and play in the cricket and get trained with the cricket. After six months, maybe that he won few trophies and came and he said like, sir, I'm so happy. Then I suggested 
to go to chennai and meet an aswin and he met an aswin he enrolled himself as the maybe that kochi under the aswin school now maybe that in that last i think maybe that before the lockdown i have seen an article about an uh, srikanth appreciation message from an aswin in the newspaper i found so happy the purpose was done so every student will have some interest on that it is our our responsibility to identify and encourage them so every student will become a great student right uh, i think the time is up there are uh, so many things to share but i don't have the time but in the concluding message uh, actually let's all maybe that meet in some other occasions and deliver uh, a few concluding message to you uh, that uh, concluding there are so many things but i uh, try to one or two things uh the teacher should be the, should be a continuous uh, learner we should read regularly comprehensive reading is enough what socrates said like a day without a book is a day without a life then again the dr radha krishna said the best teacher should be the best student we should learn continuously let's all maybe that convert ourselves as the uh, high performer let's all maintain the high performance culture inside the class let's encourage the students and prepare well be positive let's all maybe the demonstrate whatever we teach inside the class and uh, let's try our level best to convert all these students as a great students uh, thanks for the opportunity uh, thank you for your patient listening there are many more things which is there in my uh, maybe that laptop to share let's uh, share in some other occasion uh, even there are n number of participants i not in the position to take up the questions also Uh, please note down my uh, email id and phone number if at all if you have any uh, queries or feedbacks please send to me uh, my mobile number 98421 81930 nine i repeat once again 98421 81930 98421 this is my mobile number you can whatsapp me or message me or else if at all if you have any queries you can mail me also my mail id v i s a d h r at gmail.com v i s a d h r at gmail.com v i s a d h r at gmail.com so i once again appreciate uh, sim school of management for taking this initiative to organize this wonderful session so once again i appreciate all the audience for sparing your one hour time with me I hope the, all these sessions, all these things, and this. Thank you, thank you very much. Right, thank you all.